Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I thought I would review Amazon here for you today, which was a gap up. It was a bullish golden gap. It didn't broke out. It's interesting because in the trading room this morning, I looked at this and I thought, oh, this looks like it's going to break out. I casually said it, and that's exactly what it did. And because I was doing my day trains, doing a short, I didn't do this, and it was a huge trade. And I went back and looked at this and I said, oh my Lanta, you know, sometimes everything sets up at the same time and, and you just can't do everything. But this would have been an option trade for me today, not an equity day trade. So I get up in the morning every day and I look to day trade stocks. I prefer to short, sometimes I go long. Options I look at, I look at, and I don't do them every day. I really just do the good ones. It just so happened today, this was a great one. And it's set up at, this, at the same time as my day trades. But I love the fact it happened. It was a great, great sign for the calendar year, for the bullishness in the stock. I'm going to look at the daily chart, and then I'm going to do a little option tutorial for people to understand how you can make money doing this. And actually, the earnings for this are January 26th. So I'm going to do something in this. I just don't I just haven't figured out what yet. Uh, so it's a, it's a wait and see. But the stock gapped up. If you had rated the gap for the 26 Golden Gap rating system that I teach in my Golden Gap class, you would have known you could have gone long the stock today. Dream target was 815. And look at that. It got within 77 cents of the dream target on a day that the market really was not amazingly bullish. So this gapped up of its own accord. The reason doesn't matter. It opened at 831 and it went. Now, I'm going to go over what I would have done today, which again, I did not because I day traded and I shorted HES, which worked, I made money, but this set up the exact time as the short. So I did not get this. But the funny thing is I taped the room today and go back and listen to it. I watched it in the morning and said, oh, this looks like it's going to break out. But I didn't know if it would do it exactly today. But if I'd watched this into the open, I would have known it because it gapped up and it did it. And the price point of the strike I would have done if I had done it. It's too late now, but if I had, would have been 800. Now I'm going to go over examples. And I'm going to do three examples. One is for beginner, <clears throat> one is for intermediate, and this is for options, and one is for advanced. And it depends on the amount of money you want to risk. This is a lesson for everyone to, you know, listen to what I'm saying, understand options if you don't understand them. And I, and I do options in a very, very simple way. I'm either buying a call, and selling it, or I'm buying a put and selling it. That's what I do. And it's based on my Golden Gap 26 point rating system. So let's look. You could have bought Amazon today. And again, I went back and looked at this and I was like, uh, you know, you could have bought this today at approximately 430 as a cost. One contract would have cost you what? $430. This is beginner. That, it, it, it means 100 shares. I'm just trying to break it down to understand. Price is 430, one contract, and the exit at the target of the chart, of the daily chart, was 1410. Not the dream target, normal target, okay? Which is, you know, how I usually trade. <clears throat> so that would be a profit of 9.8. On one contract, that meant you would have made $980. You would have made almost a thousand bucks today on this if you had done it. So with a four hundred thirty dollar risk, you could have made nine hundred eighty dollars, which is what? It's two hundred and twenty seven percent return on investment in one trade in one day. Now, why? How can you make that much return on investment? It's because of the gap. Well, let's go back. Closed 799.02, open 831. So if the stock gapped up, it was a bullish gap. And you could have rated it if you knew my system. And that's how you would have known to do the option. Okay? So that's why it worked. That's why it went almost to the dream target, actually. Example number two, intermediate. 4.30, same cost. 10 contracts would have been what? $4,300, okay? That equates to 1,000 shares in the actual equity, but 
you're doing again the option. The, uh, you have you don't have a stop in an option, but whatever you risk is what you risk. This would have been an eight hundred dollar strike that expired on Friday, January thirteenth. But you would have gotten in it today and out of it today. You would have gotten in in the morning, into the open, and you would have exited it between a, pro probably around two o'clock. Two o'clock was when it hit the target. <clears throat> So exit price at the target, 1410 again. How do you calculate the price? And the profits and options, you take the cost of the position, which is 4.3, times the number of contracts minus the sale price equals what? 9.8. Again, simple arithmetic. But the bottom line is you would have made almost 10 grand. $9,800. I look at this and I was like, uh, I should have done this today other than HES. I did make money on HES today. I was very, very happy. It opened and swooshed. But this was huge, huge. I would have had to do one long and one short at the same time, one option, one day trade at the same time. You know, I'm working on that. I'm working on trying to do, do all of that at the same time. But I will tell you that running a live trading room, when things set up quickly and I'm in and I'm out by myself, you know, there's, there's a lot to look at. And so I was able to do it this morning, make money. I'm able to do it many days. But this, this was a second trade today. And, I, and, I, and before the open, I said, oh, this looks like it's going to break out. And, and, it, and it did. It just set up at the same time as HES. So sometimes you have to, you have to pick which one you're going to do. And for day trades, I prefer to short. But I will tell you, you can make money day trading options. <laughs> I mean, this is proof positive. What I love about this and the money that could have been made in this today is that, that it is a confirmation that the stock itself is higher and that the market is bullish this year, that stocks like Amazon will live through. Uh, and, and pull the market up, which it's already doing, into the close tonight, and, and I'm going to do something in this. Trust me. I don't know what, but something. So uh, let's just look at this here. So with a $4,300 risk, you could have made $9,800. Again, same trade as this, except for you have more size, but you make more money. It's still a 227% return on investment in one trade in one day. And why? Again, because of the gap. Again, everything I do is because of the gap. It, the amount of money you risk is dependent on you. But the percentage of return on investment has to do with the gap. I actually think, and I, and I don't do this because I love to day trade. I love to day trade and I love to short stocks. But I know now after doing options using my Golden Gap 26 point rating system that you could use my system with the rating system and trade options and make enough money in a calendar year to support yourself doing options and nothing else, no day trades. Of course, you'll make more money if you do both, uh, but you could you could absolutely make a living only doing options trades when you get the gap that rates 20 points or more, which this did, whether you'd go long or short. And you don't have to be at your desk between 9.30 and 10 a.m., which is the benefit of options, but you gotta manage your trades. You gotta watch them. I mean, you, you definitely have to watch them and, and, and you got to watch them and you have to look at the time value. Now let's go back. In this case, you would have been in and out the same day. Example three is advanced. Advanced meaning more risk, larger share size. I've taken up to 50 contracts or more in some of the trades I did in options in 2016. I'm working up to larger sizes here into 2017. It's just the start of earnings season and that's that's also why I probably am just focusing on day trading now until until we really get the earnings. Now, 4.30 was the cost no matter what. 20 contracts, which would have been what? $8,600, which is 2,000 shares of the underlying security. Exit at the price target. Again, same target on the daily chart, 1410, although it went higher. But it hits the target, you get out. You don't take every trade and link to the dream target. Anyways, how do you calculate the profit? Same, 4.3. 2,000 shares, 20 contracts, minus the sale price, 1410 equals what? Profit of 9.80. Profit on 20 contracts is what? You could have made $19,600 if you had 20 contracts of this today. You would have needed to put up $8,600 on the live day from the entry into approximately the exit, which was around 2 o'clock Eastern time. You would have needed to be in that trade and out of that trade, but that's the money you would have needed in your account to put up to make this amount, but that is a 227% return on investment in one trade and one day. Where are you going to make that kind of money? 
It is very rare that you make that kind of money in any job that you have. It is even rare that you make that kind of money in a day trade or an option trade or anything. The reason that this works so huge and many of the day trades, whether they're options or day trades that I've done in 2016 have worked with such huge, huge either risk to reward if it's a day trade, or return on investment if it's an option is because of the fact that it is based on the quality of the gap. I have a 26 point rating system, I rate it. If it's 20 points or more, I know to do it, whether it's long or short. And that is what you learn in the class with me. The class is this weekend, January 14th and 15th. If you would like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Options are an extremely profitable way to trade. And if you are looking to build an account to get to the point where you can actively day trade, you know, options is one, one way to do it. It's just one way to do it to get to the point where you've got the money necessary to actively day trade. But if you want my honest opinion, I think you should do both. Because some days you get good options, some days you get good day trades, some days you get both, some days you get long, some days you get shorts. They both work depending on the quality of the gap and you never know until you get up in the morning and you see the gap and you rate the gap. So for more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.